Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial eight of our introductory Python tutorials for image processing series. Now in the last tutorial, we got familiar with the Anaconda Spider IDE environment. So we are all set to start uh, our coding. Now, before again getting deep into this coding, I would like to quickly talk about what libraries are in Python, because most of the time we will not be coding a lot of lines of code from scratch. We will be importing libraries which contain functions or information or tools for our specific task. For example, if your task is edge detection, there, might, there, there are probably a couple of libraries that contain algorithms for this edge detection. And people are nice enough to write these algorithms, publish papers, and make them available as part of libraries. So uh, I just used a regular library as an analogy. So let me just go through this so we are all on the same page. Now, if you want information about using physics uh, to understand circular motion, uh, you will not go to children's library because it, it's, its focus is completely different. So you go to a university library, okay? And then you probably go, I mean, uh, if it's a good enough library, it has various sections. It has like section for biology, it has sections for uh, physics and some mechanical engineering and so on. Now you go to the, uh, the section that has the physics, uh, book, collection of physics books. What I want to say here is uh, some libraries have sub libraries, okay? Now you open the book to the right chapter, motion in two and three dimensions, because we want to understand the circular motion, which means within that library, you want to call the function that actually has the information you're looking for. So going back to our edge detection example, there are many edge detection algorithms, right? But all of these collection of edge detection algorithms are under a specific library. So now you actually go to this chapter that actually contains all of these edge detection algorithms. And within that, you actually identify the specific edge detection algorithm that's useful for you. Uh, in, in this library analogy, we are actually identifying the right page that has the information that we need to understand the circular motion. Okay, so uh, this is probably the best analogy I could come up with to explain libraries, but let's actually jump into our Python IDE to have a quick look at uh, uh, a couple of, uh, well, at least one library. Now, the easiest ones to at least understand right now, we'll actually get into other libraries like for image processing in uh, the upcoming tutorials, but uh, mathematical functions. We all took math, whether we liked it or not. Some of us loved it more than others, but uh, uh, we read about, okay, uh, what is factorial? Again, under math library, these are all various functions that you can actually perform. Uh, factorials, you can actually do logarithmic, uh, you know, I, I believe they have like math dot log of something and they have cosine, they have sine, they have like a whole bunch of these available under math. So you don't have to do it yourself. You don't have to code everything from scratch. Same with statistics. They have a whole bunch of things. Under statistics, you can see they have mean, median, and so on. And a bunch of these statistics are also contained in other machine learning algorithms and a bunch of other libraries, okay? So it's not that only one library has all the information. So let's actually go into uh, Python and then look at uh, how to import a library. First of all, what do you do if you don't have a library? The reason why we picked Anaconda is it comes up with uh, most of the common libraries prepackaged, so you don't have to install much of anything. Now, if you need to install a library in the console, type pip pip install and the library name, math, for example. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, it's, it's, it says something, uh, let me go ahead and do exclamation pip install math, okay? So, uh, and again, if pip install doesn't work, you put exclamation, again, I don't wanna get into uh, the details of why you need to, it has to do with your permissions and all that stuff, but just, uh, uh, just use that. Now, it says uh, in this example, uh, collecting the math, right? So where is it located? Could not find a version. Where is it finding it? It is finding it at a place called PyPy, P-Y-P-I. And again, I don't want to get into that, but let's actually pip install something else that may exist on PyPy, yeah? Pip install, let's actually do NumPy, N-U-M-P-Y, okay? NumPy. 
So this it should find it. NumPy is the numerical Python library, and it it actually uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it contains all the functions to handle uh, you know numbers. Now it it says requirement already satisfied. That means I already have a NumPy installation as part here. If not, you'll see that okay, it will go ahead and install it. Okay. So for the most part, this should work uh, usually in a very smooth way. Okay, and sometimes you have to follow what it says. It says, I'm using an old version of pip. Okay, there is a new version available. So go ahead and do that. And it actually is very clear at telling you what to do to actually upgrade your pip. Okay, so I cannot think of all scenarios right now, but hopefully you, uh, you won't run into any issues in terms of installing these libraries. Now, I'll talk about these this same topic in my upcoming tutorials whenever we talk about relevant libraries. Okay, but for now, this is a quick overview. How okay once you have a library, how do you import it? Well, you just say import math. It imports entire math library. Now you don't have to import entire math library if you know that all you need is only one function. You can just say from math import sign. Now you're only importing sign and not the entire math if you do this. But for now, let's just import math, the entire library. Okay, now what do we want to do? Let's say my A equals to 1000, okay? And my B equals to math dot. And when you press dot, it actually comes up with all the functions available here and you can actually select which one, okay? Let's actually find logarithmic, log 10, for example, of A. And let's go ahead and print B. Let's run this code, okay? And we should see a value of 3.0 right there because log logarithmic with a base 10 of 1000 is three. So this is how easy it is to do this. Now let's do uh, another one, okay? X equals to 90 degrees and let's do sine of X, okay? So Y equals to math dot, oh, sorry, sine of X. And now let's go ahead and print y. And what do we get when we print y? Well, what is sine of 90 degrees? It's one, but we are getting a value of 0 0.89. That means again, when it comes to sine, the numbers that you assign here, we are assuming it is degrees, but it is radians, okay? Again, you'll uh, realize this uh, pretty soon. So x2 equals to, how do we convert from degrees to, uh, uh, from radians to, uh, I mean degrees to radians? All we need to do is math dot. So what do we have? A function called radians, and then I'll just put x in there. Uh, so my x2 is x converted into radians. So now let's actually do x2 over there and run this code. Hopefully we should see a value of one. Okay, again, I hope this is not very intimidating. We're not gonna spend too much time doing sines and cosines and tans and all that stuff because we're not in the process of developing algorithms right now. We're in the process of using existing algorithms to, to extract information from our images. So that's exactly uh, our goal as part of this tutorial series. So in the next tutorial, let's, uh, let's uh, advance our knowledge a little bit more, but I hope with this tutorial, you understand the concept of libraries in, uh, uh, as, as part of Python. So let's meet again in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.